What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Chris Boy, and today you are watching yours truly, Chris Momando on the Growing Up Italian Podcast with your boys right here. I'm beyond more to do the recalls. I saw the Fernando family. I can't draw my mama to the Yeah, so Chris, Chris Mormando, Chris yes. Mormando, Mormando, I'm more of a man. You, he more, more of a man. man. I'm more of a man. The first time I met you, okay, we were in Little Italy. Yes, we were at Baby John's grand opening. Love it, baby and Gigi's. Baby, oh, Gigi's, right? Gigi's, I'm all. What? Married. That was an eventful night, right? L- what a great night, and I love Baby John. Love him. I know the, him my whole life. The guacamole was flowing. Everything was flowing. Yeah, everything was. Flowing. Everything. That was a great night. But that Super night, nice. I met him, and. I originally saw like a couple of your clips go viral. And I said, I'm going to do a podcast with you. I love it. He never bothered me. He never said, oh, when am I going to be on? Nothing. No. I had an opening and I messaged you. And I said, absolutely. You know, New Year. I was like, okay, we got we to gotta <laughs> spice it up a little bit. You're one of the guys on my list. So and thank I'm you for coming. And thank you for having me. So to be brutally honest. Done. I don't know much about you. Okay. Besides that you're on Gravesend. Yes. And we have the same barber. And you are the best. <laughs> no offense, you guys with hair. But you know, the hair is so passe. You got the, the bald-headed family. Bald you might strong. be the greatest bald guy ever, though. Yeah, I love yours. The, you listen. Like, mine we, Mine got the circumference. You, we he, did. He, listen. Listen, what's this? Like this. And I feel like the outcast for once, though. Yeah. You know, the little gel. I used to put the gel like when you have. You see your hair? I used to do this, too, when I had hair. What's that? What happened? Go bald? Oh, go ahead. I went bald. Okay, so this is a funny story. Um, I started losing my hair at a young age. Mm-hmm. So my wife, Nicole, um, she used to go, baby, you know, you would look so good if you would just shave your hair. I go, please, stop with that. Did you have hair. like the comb over? I, I had, okay, let me not phrase him because he's got great hair. I had the little hair going down this way and a little this way. Comb over would, would imply I might have had a little bit more hair than, the comb over you got hair. Yeah. I really had nothing. I had a little coming this way. A little here, a little there. It was nothing. Some guys could rock that, though. Absolutely. And if I show you one of my pictures when I was in college, I had it. You would say, all right, you had some hair, but it really wasn't much. But then all of a sudden, my wife would go, babe, I think that you should shave it. And I'm like, no, that ain't going to happen. I think there's a big difference in like hip-hop culture and Italian-American culture where like, I'm kind of in both. But when I'm with my friends, I'm really into hip-hop and then... I had the bad hairline. They'll be like, "Oh my god," you know. But amazing. it's like the cuisine thing where you cuisine. can like have the sides. Keep the hair, and, yeah, yeah, whatever. exactly. You know, the little this way. Like, look at Tony Soprano, like the character James Gandolfini. Right. When he would comb it, I'd yeah, he combing. Yeah, exactly. Nothing. You could put your fingers, lick your finger, just like that. <laughs> so, that, how, how old are you when you really said, "Okay, it's time to let it go"? What well, What made you do it? Because okay. for me, it was a big jump to really shave my head. I was. I convinced that my mother, rest in peace. Push the uh, shaver. So I used to do that. I used to do the shave sometimes just aside with the electric shaver, and call it like it is. I went like this, uh-huh. and I took a chunk, and I went. <gasps> so I run out of the room. I tell my wife, "Give me makeup. Makeup for what?" I go. I just took a chunk out of my head by accident. I moved, and it took it out. And she goes, "Babe, I'm not giving you makeup. Shave that freaking thing right now." Shave that thing. And I go, shave that thing. <laughs> shave that thing. And I went, uh, 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 and I went. <gasps> so you had like a Britney Spears moment? Oh, my God. Ran right to the tanning salon. Because I still think bald headed guys should have a little tan running. Yes, yes. Even though I'm a little white for, for me. I haven't been down to Miami. But I ran right to the tanning salon. I said, let me stop. Bo-, you know, mm-hmm. got to get a little darker on the, yeah, the on tan. The top. Got to get a tan. Can't be too white. So I'm like, oh, God. I'm like, I don't know if I'm liking this. And then when I would talk to my friends, I would talk to them like this. Yeah. So my friend goes, okay, Chris Boy, I know you're bald and you shaved your head. Why is your head this way? And I'm like, oh, you could tell? He goes, yeah, you're embarrassing yourself. Show us the bald head. Because you were in a hat, though? Or? I used to 
Because back in the day, my hair was starting here. That's so what happened I, to me. When you started looking at me, you wouldn't know. But if I went this way, you could still think I had some hair. I'm not even kidding you. So that was the running joke. We so call that a five head. Yeah, so I, like me, like, yeah, see, like see right here is four, the forehead. <laughs> yes. Uh, my, my thing was like a six head because my too. hairline was here. Me too. So I, I'll never forget. I still go to the same barber because I go for the gossip. Okay. But when I walk in, I walk in like I, I was 23 years old and he's like, All right, what are we going to do? Ugh. I'm like, the usual. What do you mean? Like he was like just trimming the top yeah. with scissors, yeah. trying to keep the little. But you young. look good, bro. Brother. How you doing? You look yeah, good. Yeah. It's I a Curcio it. thing too. It's in the family. Uh, I love it. His his side, you know. God bless. God bless. He got the good genes. <laughs> for but, now, for now. <laughs> but we then, got uh, great genes. you know, my barber goes to me like, "Listen, it's time." I'm like, "What?" He's like, I "Shave it off." <laughs> and I was just like, "All right." And I was wearing a hat, like you said, for six yes. months. And it wasn't really till I got some color on my head, and yes. now it's like I never wear a hat. Me either. It's now the I'm best thing being bald. It you don't got to worry about uh, your it's hair. It's so or easy now. Just right in the shower. One, two, three, you, you're done. You never had a beard. No, I never rocked any facial hair. I mean, you liked it, the clean cut look because I was literally going to ask that too. But. Yeah, I'm a clean cut, so I'll. This is like a day without shaving. I'll go two days sometimes here, but every other day in the shower I'll shave it down. So you do everything yourself. Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah. Listen, I also want to say, this right here, what's what's this kind of material? Oh, this is my favorite. So Hugo Boss is... is uh, are, they, are they sponsoring you? Or? I think... Watch this. I don't like to, uh, you know, show Hugo Boss. I Bo- don't. <laughs> you know, not that I think... I don't think everybody should just, you know... I don't. Say anything, but I'm just saying, while we're talking, um, Hugo Boss, what time is it? Oh, <laughs> Hugo Boss time? It's Hugo time. It's Hugo time. So Boss is phenomenal. Um, these, if they had these in... What is it, Basket Robins 32 flavors? If they had these in 32 colors, I would have... I would that's, a nice, that's a nice jumpsuit. I have this in this color, blue and white. And I rock the white. So that, wait, so just so everybody knows, Hugo Boss is not paying us. Mm-hmm. That's right. That, that looks nice. This is Boss wear. Now, Boss loved it. So in Miami, so we have um, Phantom Rolls. So I come out of the rolls and I'm taking pictures... And I posted like it. Like Padre Pio? Yeah. No me faro si es santi. I go. <laughs> so I come out, boss goes, Mo, you're fucking rocking the boss out of the rolls. I go, yes, I am. I said, you better get that billboard up. I'm waiting for the billboard. I keep going like this. I'm waiting. When are we going in Times Square? Clock is ticking. Do you think the jumpsuits are back? Oh, I would wear these seven days a week. And my wife will tell you, my mother, again, when she saw me in a pair of jeans, I never owned jeans in my life. I wasn't a jean guy. So I meet my wife, who my, she was my girlfriend at the time, my wife now, and she puts me in a pair of jeans. My, my mother goes, you look so cute in jeans. I go, Ma, relax. I'm, I'm sweatsuit in the day, and I'm suits at night. That's how we roll. So it's one extreme or the other. One or the other. So the daytime is always sweatsuits. I'm a sweatsuit guy. This is my comfort zone. Every mm-hmm. day I would dress like this, and then nighttime, yeah, I'm old school. I go double breasted. What do you got? In it? Just a white tee underneath? Just a regular t shirt. It's a pink, little pink, bring out a little color. Oh, so it's like a like a light pink almost. Yeah, light, Super pink. light pink. I sometimes wear the beige, but I get sometimes I wear the ball shirt under it. But today was a relaxed mode and you know. <laughs> How many times do you think it's okay to wear a white tee before time to throw it out? Oh my god. I don't have any white tees because I'll be a little bit of a sweater, so I'm gonna make those bad boys uh a uh, little discolored. But I'm going to say... You don't I, sweat more than me. I'm a sweater. I sweat. Is that a bald guy thing? I don't know. No, it's an overweight it, thing for me. I'll, not tell you, I'll tell you one thing. When I'm on set and I sweat, as soon as I go like this... I make it comes pour. more. It gets worse, right? Worse. It'll pour. I go like this and it'll pour right down. And it You know, I get bad. self-conscious because I feel myself me beating too. up. See, we're, and we're, I, we're, I, it's the bald-headed thing. We're brothers for life. That's the way yeah, it works. Like telekinesis. Yeah. Absolutely. Bald and sweat. What else? Hey, I like it. Are you I afraid would... of mice too? I, I will jump. Okay, so let me give you a mice. Ready? Mice? Okay. Put me in a room of five guys. I'll fight all five of them. Take the biggest beating you can imagine. Put a mouse in the room. I'll run through the wall. Yeah. You will only see marks. And I'll leave you. I'll leave you for dead. If we see a mouse, I'm a little chicken shit. Me too. I'm a yeah. chicken shit. Chicken I'll shit too. I'll jump on that table and be like, all right, uh, listen, get me the hell out of here now. Same so, way. When, uh, when did the Scapadels come out? The Scapadels, look at that. Yeah. Where's Kurs? Kush, where are we? <laughs> That's the boss. We're rocking the boss outfits today. That's all boss. All, all boss. boss. This is all boss. Man. So we're rocking the boss. Boss is going to be involved with our film. 
So Boss is going to be doing us um, have something to do with our red carpet, our after party. Our Which film. film is this now? This is a film I'm currently doing right. We're starting Monday of the, the 6th. We are doing what's called Judge No Book. Okay. Um, it's phenomenal. It's casted phenomenal. I'm the writer. I'm the lead. I'm going to be with uh, actors like Lenny Venito, Sonny Marinelli, Gino Caffarelli. I just left. Gino's tomorrow. a friend of ours. So. Love Gino. Yeah. Just seen. He sends his love real, also. Real, real I was with guy. him today. I was with him today. We were out uh, in Long Island and we had a nice little uh, breakfast and we were doing. That's my uncle. Z- that's my Zio Nicola right there. Hello. How are you? What's up? I do. You guys didn't go with you, Z? My deal, my uncle's a jeweler. Sometimes you know he got ah, nice. something falls off the back of the truck. Oh, I, love the, I love the back of the truck. Very nice. The best. No Rolexes, Z. <laughs> Rolex. Come no Rolex. Hey, we don't know nothing about it, but you know, if in case you got the Rolex. You look like you could be my deal. Right? Yeah. I love it. it. What's up, my friend? When my deal got the clean shave, like we could pass. I love for it. it. Yeah, definitely knew each other back in the day. Where did you guys? Uh, where did you grow up? I grew up at Bensonhurst on Thirteenth Avenue. Okay. So I grew up uh, 62nd and 13th, 71st and 13th. Uh, stayed on like around, you stay, there, there was a bowling alley, Maple Lane's bowling alley. On, uh, Miguel, Miguel, we got to keep it down though because filming, yeah. On 60th Street and 16th Avenue was Maple Lane's bowling alley. That was our hangout. Do you still do you still hang out in Bensonhurst or not? Like, do you live there? No, I live in New Jersey now, so I'm in uh, Aberdeen. That's a typical like. Yeah, I went right over the, I went right past the island. Um, I went right to New Jersey. I love it down there. Um, Red Bank area. Uh, I lived there for eight years, and now I'm in Aberdeen, Matawan. My wife and I, and we love it there. Love yeah. it. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the Gravesend series. It's Gravesend is gonna be phenomenal when it hits the scene. Um, we filmed. We I, I see up. a real big jump from oh, season one to day. season two. Night and day. Um, nine season, nine okay. episodes, I should say, that we're doing in season two. Um, we just dropped the trailer. The trailer is phenomenal. Um, yeah, it was dynamite. Unbelievable. And a lot of big, big cast that came to the show. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're, you know, I'm honored. Uh, my character is Gaetano. Mm-hmm. So I come home from jail, and I'm Benny Z's right-hand man, friend from when we're kids. So there's a lot of coverage in this, this show with Gaetano being myself, and Will DeMeo just crushed it. Um not even just saying it to sound great. He crushed it. Where were you in season one? No. no, no season one. I wasn't able to because I was filming on a show called For Life with Fifty on ABC. Okay. Um, so I was there for two years and two seasons, which was when he pulled out the first season. Mm-hmm. So he had always said, "When you get a chance, I want you to come on season two with me." I go done. Yeah. Just give me dates. Yes. And I'll block them, and I'm, I'll give you my word. Would, would you say this is probably your biz- biggest project? Gravesend is definitely biggest exposure. There's no doubt about it. Okay. Um, and giving me like a lot of my past stuff was a lot of major films and shows like Fifty Cents for Life mm-hmm. and Marvelous Mrs. Maze or Blacklist and all those. Uh, Lilyhammer is what with Steve Van Zandt. I was on there. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. right. That's right. And then you know going to Norway and just amazing, just amazing. But Gravesend is definitely right now the biggest. Um, Without a doubt, exposure. Can you tell us a little bit who else we could expect to see in the season? Oh, the, forget uh, it. This is going to be fuck. This is gonna yeah, be I saw. Great. I mean, I know you know it. You yeah. see it. Yeah, so Armand. You have, you have. Oh, I mean, look around you, Frank. Right? Yeah. I mean, you could be successful and have no friends. Sounds just like that's the life we choose. Yeah. You he know, was a, he was a great, the best John Gotti. Would you? Wouldn't you say? There is nothing to talk about. Armand to me is one of the best all around. Mm-hmm. Did, did, I'm, I've been a huge fan, and I'll give you a compliment that he gave me. He wanted to reach out to me before I ever got a chance to really know him before we filmed. No, after we filmed. I never met him. Um, on We never filmed together. He saw a lot of my stuff, and he says, I want to reach out to the guy and tell him I'm a fan of him. When I'm on the side, they told me, I'm a fan of you. You know what I told him? I'm, I'm, remember uh, my cousin Vinny? Yeah. Of you know any big attorneys? No. I'm calling my mother. Well, I go to him. I go, what? What? He goes, I'm a big fan of you. I go, I'm calling my father because I don't know how to react. To that. <laughs> That's yeah. how much of a fan I am. Starstruck, yeah. That he says he's a big fan of me. Humbling. And I'm very dear friends with him to this day. He's dynamite across the board, 
And again, I don't just say it to say it because you don't know me well enough. I'm no kiss ass. I'll never just say something. Yeah. I'm true to what I am. And if I really am, if you're a friend, I'm your friend for life. That's the way it rolls. Right. But he is dynamite and he is across the board. Everything I was hoping he would be being such a fan of him mm-hmm. my whole life. And to hear him say that, but he's, like I said, across the board, fantastic. Chaz Palmitieri. Great. Chaz, this is, this is great. I used, Chaz, his wife, Gianna, I used to go to his home years ago when Gabriella, his daughter, was a baby. And now she's filming on our show as well. Dante also, right? Yes. Dante's a friend Dante, of Dante, Gabriella. And it's so funny that we're all working together now. And Chaz, I'll give you great. So we used to go to his home and we would be talking. And we, okay, we're sitting there just talking work, whatever. Open up a bottle of wine, having a glass, and boom, you feed him any line to any movie, he'll and know he'll it. go. So we used to do a Dom, Dom DeLuise, Fatso. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. used to go, Tommy, Tommy, da, 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 da. and he goes, da, 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 your ass. <laughs> We'd go, and everything. his wife would go, oh, here they go. I feel like you, I would bother somebody like that, like somebody in his industry, like, oh, you're bothering me now, like, cut it out, you know what he, I mean? Well, the stand-up was, guy, right? He loves it. And he, listen, you welcome me in your home. There's a big difference. You know, you're... To be in some industry. Yeah, yeah. that's Plus, so true. You true. wouldn't, because you're in someone's home now. They open their doors, you know. For whatever the reason, you're in their home. So there's more to it. When his wife, when he filmed at the Count Basie Theater in Red Bank, he did the one-man show. I will tell you, I had me and my wife and my dearest friend and his wife. The four of us went, and then we met him in Bonacera after for dinner. And his wife came running over, John, and going, I can't wait to meet your wife. Finally, I used to tell. And she goes, Nicole, I tell him all the time, bring you. But it wasn't like that. It was like more right. on the business side. So we would go there and, and sit, would talk with him. But he he is phenomenal. His wife, the whole family is a, is a beautiful family. He's a big part of this show as well. Yeah, I saw. And he's crushed it as Chaz crushes everything he does. So there's yeah. a lot of hype around it, rightfully so. So I what can't a, wait. What about um oh, Renee? Renee from Philly, from Cafe. Uh, oh, from, go baby go go baby go. go. Baby, go. He's oh, he's in great. there too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. What does he play? Well, he are you allowed to is, say? He play, you know, no, no, no. He has a part in it. Sorry, like, Willie. If you know, we give <laughs> yeah. out any spoilers. He, listen, he's he's Renee is great. He's. He comes to the set, you cannot not smile when he's there. Yeah. And he brings energy. And remember, when you're on set... Does he bring set, cannolis also? He brings it all. <laughs> he brings it all. He brings food, cannolis. But he brings energy. And, and you when that. you're on you set, that. you definitely... You bounce need. off other people's energy. And I'm when assuming, you're right? bad energy on a set, and this is a trick, for the film that I casted myself, no offense, but I casted... The thir- out of the 33, the two were helped by someone of a casting director... But my, yeah. I cast a 31 out of 33. Why? Because I've worked with them and I know their attitude and right. their energy and their workmanship. Casting's right. 90% of directing. Uh, right? Because you have to know the person. And if they bring bad energy, you're not... Sh- watch. So this person to me do a scene in somebody else's film and that person does nothing but complain or bring bad energy, you just lost the job. Right. Because I'm not going to ever hire you. And I do look at that. Yeah. But the people that have great energy... They're casted in my films. What about improv? Is there a lot of improv, or you think it's solely on the script? No, it goes on. It, it goes on script. I'll give you for instance. Will is, Will is, I, and I say it again. By the way, it, Willie, the whole show he directs, produce, everything, right? He wears. He gets a lot of help. So you have Michelle, you have John, you have George. Everybody that was. I don't want to leave anybody. So I, don't, I shouldn't even name names. Everybody surrounds him to support him. So he does get a lot of help but he wears a lot of hats and the pressures that go along with it. Doing my film, there's a lot. Months. If you hear my voice, this is 15 hours yesterday on, I'm sore. Today is my last day of talking till we start on the February 6th. It's only texting only because I got to conserve. Wait, it's an actual thing? Because it is for me. Because I'm... I, I always lose my voice too. And I'm, brother, I am literally, yesterday, 15 hours, my wife goes, babe, you got to stop. I go, we're on production calls. We're on rehearsals. Yeah. No more after. I said, you're a, my finale until we start Monday. So I, when you say that, though, with your wife now, you converse or are you like... Now I'll talk like this. Sweetheart. Yeah. That's yeah. gangster. Sweetheart. That's so, so and you I'll nice say this. I'll go like, yeah, I'll go like this. Let me get over here. So 
You know, like, you know what you got to do? A little like this, like, it don't. It, like this, look. It don't. I love you. <laughs> Come here, sweet And cheeks. then like this, and all of a sudden somebody comes in the room and goes, I want to talk to you. And they're like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, let, let's just take a pause. That's great. Right. Yeah, I got a, I got a f- recording here. I'm not, I didn't cut it. Oh, yeah. It's good stuff. Two cousins started a company named after the hometown they're from in Italy. All their jewelry is made with real gold and vermeil, and it is the perfect price point for the perfect gift, especially for Mother's Day. They carry men and women's chains on their website. Make sure to go visit their website, cosenzanyc.com, and use code GUI20 at checkout. My parents told me never show up empty-handed. I brought some olive oil cakes. They got me a birthday cake, but I'd rather have this, and I know who this is from. You know why you'd rather have this? It's only six clean ingredients. That's amazing. And today, if you order, use code ITALIAN15, and you save a little scadol, too. Listen, that's nice, but look at this, how beautiful. Salute and mangi, brother. Look at that, how beautiful. Salute. Chin, chin. This is a happy birthday. Tell me I said thank you very much. Thank you, Mia. Thank you, Miguel. My mm. olive oil cake. Go get yours today. Delicious. Yeah. No, no problem. Too lazy. Ja, ja. Well, this is Brooklyn, and you're a Brooklyn guy. Yes, I am. And I want to know, how did you exactly start acting? Okay. So, my whole life I wanted to be an actor. I always wanted it. And not that it was frowned upon. It wasn't frowned. It just was... Our families were like, yeah, it ain't never going to happen. Forget about it. It's, it's, it's simple. It ain't going to happen. It's not for you. Never, I was always supported. I have a mother, but passed by case she'd been better, but she was always a supportive mother for the nines. Said you could be any, bigger than any of them. But it wasn't anything of our, you know, acting. How are you going to be an actor? Right. You know, you, you live in Brooklyn on 13th Avenue. Where are you going to be an actor? <laughs> so that's what it was like. Yeah. My father gives me... Probably my my whole characteristics is all my father. So my father... As far as been, acting or... As far as just in general. Yeah, and, and so it's a character regardless. My yeah. father used to take over a room and used to crack everybody up. He was not an actor, but he could. But put him on a screen and I'm like, all right, dad, say these words. He's like, what do you mean say these words? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he can't a lot act, of people. but he's, yeah, a, he's a character. That's correct. So then what happened was, you know, you, you just... Life starts and then... In my life, I got, you know, I made mistakes in life and, and I paid for my mistakes and I went away a bunch of years. Mm-hmm. So when I was away, I said, you know what? It's a one life. I preach on the Instagram, one life. We live it, we love it. You, you don't waste time. So, you're always super happy on your social media too. Because I don't believe, you, you always got heartache and there's always going to be sadness. It goes with everything. But I always say it like this. I think people, and I don't take it for granted, I think there are people that take for granted when you get up in the morning. And I'm not trying to sound good. I'm the guy that wakes up and says, my line is, it's a song, but it's thank you, Lord, for giving me another day to say amen and amen. That's the Covenant Brothers. That's my line every morning. Thank you, Lord. And then I do, I'm a big DMX fan, so I always shoot out, the Lord give me a sign where it's yeah, in the name of yeah. Jesus, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Yeah, that's a great every song. song that rise against me, judgment thou shalt right. condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteous is of me, said the Lord. Bars. Amen. Bar. <laughs> Lord, give me a sign. Drop. Wait, oh, can you sing that? Can you sing that for us? Oh, I really need to talk to you, Lord, since the last time we talked. The talk had been off. That's my joint. Yeah, that's Life crazy. or death, live or die, I will never live a lie. I'm going to get because I try. That's you know, my you know that record yeah. or not? I didn't know DMX would come back like that. Like, to have a record about that song God like that. That song just gave me the goosebumps. My, ready? My truck that I drive is one of one, and it's called DMX. You named your truck. Yeah. Have you ever it's, gotten you to always get a female. It's an yeah. MDX Acura that my huh? dear friend Alan, who owns it. MDX? Um, owns, he owns a, a dealership in Princeton, and he gave me my MDX and changed it to DMX. <laughs> when I went in the showroom... And he could tell you this. Everybody in the showroom goes, what the hell is a DMX? Is it new? He says, no, it's a Chris boy. So they go, what is a Chris boy? I walk into his showroom, and what do I do? I go, in the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And they're like, 
and I jam, Lord, give me a sign, and everybody goes, now we know what the friggin' DMX is. Yeah. And I have it outside, my DMX. That's classic. That's how big. But Lord, that, my morning prayer is that, and that's why about energy's high. No, I could be here, but there are times I need to relax. But I don't. Be- I believe in we don't even realize what we have. It's the clear. We don't know what you got until it's gone, but you don't realize really True. how much we got. Doing this is a high on me, for me. It's high. I'm a high right now. Right. Right. No alcohol, no nothing. I'm high because I'm enjoying what we're doing. The fact that you asked me, I tell you straight into your face and your eyes, you're, that was a, that's a, a blessing because I've been asked. I you know, it, for me, it's a blessing. Being, being in this industry, I'm going to be honest, we're, right now we're at a place where the show's doing <clears> the best <throat> it's ever been. And when I tell somebody I'm going to have them on, I usually circle back. Unless they like break chops and then all of a sudden I don't want to do it because, and you, the fact that you never did that and I love everything you do on social media. Thank you. And even my cousin Rocco, I told him like, yo, this is going to be a fun show. No pressure. Like I didn't set up any outline. I just knew it would go. So here we are. I love it. And, uh, you know, being a guy, I grew up in Bensonhurst, right? Yeah. How was that as a kid? Cause I want to know the, I guess the question I want to ask is. How Italian are you? Like, what generation Italian are you? Because okay, that's where I falter. So where I'm at fault is I don't really know my background so well. So did you ever do ancestry or no? That no. I, like if I ask my mother's past. So if I ask my father, my father will go like this. Here's my father. Ready? Yeah. Where are we from? And he goes. We're from Coney Island. That's Sicily, no. So, Ready? He goes, we have our family out there, the Mazzinis, the Cunios, the Strazis. He goes, and don't forget the Battaglias. So I'm like, who are they? He'll just quote it right from the Godfather. Yeah, he makes it up. So my whole life, my, my sister... You Alex, were meant to be a movie star. My sister will vouch for this one. My sister, Alex... When she brought in her family tree to school, I kid you not, on the family tree she was writing until my stepmom, her uh, uh, her mom, until my stepmom, Diane, <laughs> turned around and says, what are you doing? She goes, Daddy told me we're part of the Bazzini family. <laughs> this is my father. Wait, he was dead serious when he said that? J- he, my father, you don't... Oh, He's you, really a character, this oh, guy. Oh, my father is the best. 77 years old, you would never know it. When you're with him, you you can't keep a straight face because he's always thinking of something to be like. So I was with the the Tataya the family. They told me um, they don't like what's going on with the Bazzinis. We think we should make a move now. Why we got the muscle? I go, I go. What about the other thing? And he goes, ah, the other thing, this, that. Eh, forget about it. We'll take care of it later. Just go take care of the Bazzinis. And I'm like, you got it. My sister will crack up. My older brother will sit there and go, they're nuts. My little brother rolls with everything. He just laughs. And my stepmother, Diane, will sit there and go. She'll go, oh, my God, I don't know what even is going on. But it's entertaining. You're all actors in his real-life movies, yes. basically. Exactly. My father started it. Yeah. My father started it. And to give you that background is when I went to jail, that's when I decided. I go, when I get home, I'm giving it a shot. How, I don't know. I said, put me in front of the best of the best. If they tell me that I suck, I will shake it off. I won't accept it, but at least I know that, give me a shot. And when I got my first shot was, there was a film, One Too Many, that was done by um, Stuttering John that was part of the Howard Who, Who's Stern. Stuttering John? Oh. Stuttering John was part he, of the Howard Stern, okay, okay. yes. And then he went to Jay Leno. He did a film called One Too Many, and a friend of mine, Marco, got me involved with doing one scene and this is what really kick-started my, my thought process. I'm in L.A., I'm on a red carpet, and kid you not, with my girlfriend at the time, was my wife, we're on the red carpet, and we're, I'm getting interviewed, and I feel a tap on the shoulder, I turn around, and some girl goes, hi, Chris, my name is Kim. I said, hey, Kim, how you doing? She goes, this is my mother, Chris. I go, Chris, I love the name. Get over here. And she goes, well, since these bitches didn't introduce me, I'm Chloe. I go, then Chloe, you stay with me. Get over here. You're with me now. My girlfriend at the time, Nicole, which is my wife, goes, 
you don't know who these girls are, do you? So I go, no, who are they? She, I said, they're Kim, Chris, and Chloe. Wow. She goes, babe. They're the biggest Sokolas in LA. <laughs> and she goes, babe, this is true. Uh, I'm I go, babe, who, who are? She goes, they're the Kardashians. I go, ready? I go, who are the Kardashians? <laughs> I know Bazzini. What year, what year was this? This is in 09. This is 13 years ago, 14 years ago. Can I be completely honest with you yes. guys? Yes. I need a sex scandal one of them in the worst way. It's the only way I could reach another level. And it, well, Chloe. Is she single? I Chloe. love Chloe. Chloe's my favorite, just so you know. She used to be my favorite. I, Chloe is my favorite. And my dog. You mean like. Is I, named Chloe. Oh my, of Chloe. Me that, wife, that's like almost an insult, no? If you name a dog after No, name? we just said we love that name. She brings good vibes. And our Chloe is our baby. Our Chloe. My baby lays on my chest every morning. And it's just, she's my soul. So when we met Chloe, I go, got to have a Chloe. Gotta have a Chloe. And Chloe is my favorite Kardashian. If a fan came up to you and said, I named my dog Mormando after you. Would I you would be... say, can I take the picture with you right <laughs> or Gaetano, now? Or Gaetano. Gaetano. I am Gaetano. I am Antonio. I wonder if anyone named their dog Sabino after me. That's a great name. It is. It's, it's definitely a dog's name. Brother, if somebody said I named my dog after you, i go, give me a picture right now with the dog. Right now. I'd be like, I don't know. If you were to be a dog, what kind of dog would you be? Oof. Oof. Um... American Bulldog. I like that answer. Love American Bulldogs. I would be a, a, a English Bulldog. English? Because they're fat. I like the American. My friend Rico's got these two American Bulldogs. And oh my God. Every time I'm over the house, I'm like, if I was to get a bigger dog, because our dog is a bit, little bit, you know, she's a Cavachon, so she's small. But if I get a bigger dog, American Bulldog, it's my favorite. It's They just are beautiful looking there. They're so strong, strong and solid yeah. and loyal. and right People think you. twice to break in when they That's see a bulldog. That's right. You know? That's, That's right. what dogs are really meant for, to they be your first, you know? That's right. Yeah. What protect. kind of dog would you be? I'd definitely be like a chihuahua. All <laughs> 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 oh, bark, no bite. American bulldog. Mormando, come over here. <laughs> so, Benson has changed a lot. How do you yeah. feel about the change in the neighborhood? Well, uh, it's it's no more what it was, obviously. Um, when, my when, whole block went from Italian to Chinese. Uh -huh. So it went, um, literally, you wouldn't recognize, you don't know, that out of the 80 houses, I grew up on a, on a court on 13th Avenue and 62nd Street called uh -huh. Tabor Court. Okay. So the court was a private, is a private court, and that was the simple... You do something wrong, everybody gives you cracks in the head on the way back down. To Imagine the doing that nowadays. Oh, forget about you. That sounds like the Stone Age, though. It was, freaking... but it was the best. Stoops, stoop ball, slap ball. Yeah. We used to play stick ball. Every football, make up our games called slap hockey. Yeah. Uh, you know, you had to stop the ball, slap it. It was things that we made up, but the, the block was one of a kind. And it taught you so much that... You were out all day long. You played you played right. sports all day long. And the older guys beat the living crap out of you. You know what I like did. about your generation? When you saw the lights go off in the streets, that's when you knew it was time to go home. And if you when they called for dinner, you didn't want to go to dinner. I would hear my grandfather go, Chris. And I'm like, Grandpa, 10 minutes. No, now. And we're like, everybody better be out in about 15 minutes. <laughs> Run in, yeah. shovel in yeah. the food. My grandmother would be doing novenas while I'm running back out. <laughs> And that was, but now it's night and day. There's, there's no comparison. Are you one of those Italian-American guys that could only eat Italian-American food? No. Whatever food, if I enjoy it, like if I, you put food and I just enjoy it, oh no. What I'm kind of food do you like besides Italian? I'm a big Chinese food man. Yeah? Oh man. Oof. Me too. Like, I'm a big Chinese food What's your go-to Chinese order? Okay, so go-to, it's two, two go-tos. Like let's say you're going to a place you've never been to. Sesame chicken with extra broccoli and extra sesame sauce with... Boom. I didn't even That's, know you could ask for extra sesame sauce. Oh, you're going to charge you. I'll tell you that much. Oh, give you one great give me, story. Give me a hack over here. I ordered Chinese food the other night, and I've been noticing, and I was going to put this on my Instagram, and you're getting it first. Ooh. Okay, ready for this? I'm I getting gonna, it. You're getting it. There's uh, yeah, nobody else getting yeah, it but you. There you go. Sabino exclusive, gets it Exclusive. 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 Do you know I live in Aberdeen, Matawan? I'm not going to name the name of the place, and I'll never order there again. But I called up. I said... I've noticed for the last three or four times, and probably three or four times is probably in a seven or eight day stretch, I go, oh God. I don't get no fortune cookies. Ready? Oh no, you, no fortune cookie. 
unless you request it. So I'm, That's I'm an gonna, abomination. Ready for this? I go, unless I request a fortune cookie? Chinese food goes with fortune cookies. Right. Woman says, no, you don't understand. <laughs> ready? And I'm not going to make fun of the book, but you don't understand. Everybody throws your fortune cookie out. Nobody eats it, and it costs money. So I go, so you know this, that they throw it out for a fact? Do you go in everyone's garbage and see that nobody opened up the fortune cookies? Oh, you had time that day, huh? You had time to yeah. let her know how you feel. Bro, I actually said, um, you lost me as a customer because you don't get my fortune cookies. Mm. The implication of Chinese food is the fortune. I open the fortune, I read it. I used to feel jip when it said, uh, you know, the fortune cookie had nothing on it. Yeah, it was the I'm worst. Like, really? <laughs> Look forward to it. I need some motivation. You play those numbers or what? I play the numbers always. <laughs> you seem like the type. Always. I'm like, yeah, all right, okay, I want to know one thing. 19 and 22, play those numbers right now. <laughs> Is bread the equivalent to a fortune cookie? No. Like when you order chicken marsala, chicken franchise, whatever, okay. you're expecting bread, right? Bread, absolutely. So when you order Chinese, you're expecting Oh, absolutely. So it's equivalent. It is equivalent. I didn't realize. Absolutely, you got to have a fortune cookie. Chinese food, you I mean, It makes the meal complete, I agree. But what I do now, I'm a little psycho. I don't know if this is crazy. I crumble it up and I put it on my rice. Some people do that. Some people Listen do that. to me. And I share with my Chloe. Chloe even knows when I'm doing the fortune cookie. She hears the noise. She gets up. I go, come on. How much How much Chinese do you have? I <laughs> Your dog memorizes I'm the I'm a sound. Chinese food guy. Forget. Fatso, Dom de Louise. They have $40 worth of Chinese food. That was back then. They got two big bags. Now Yo, $40. Pick, should I tell him? Come on, talk to me. I'm going to take you to the best Chinese food spot. Whenever you got time. All right. Whenever you find yourself in How You Doing, a.k.a. Howard Beach. Okay. I'll take you to the spot. All right. It's, I'm going to hold you to that Listen, now. it's the only wise guy spot that's Chinese. That's that, Chinese. Yeah. That's it, 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 And it's Howard Beach. And it's Howard Sounds Beach. Sounds like a match made for you. We love Howard <laughs> Beach. Oh, like, I listen, if you Beach. walk in there and you see the owner, you got to give him the double. Because how you doing? <laughs> you know, shake, come yeah. sit down. You know, Frank Sinatra's play. It's wild. Oh, I love it. I'm yeah. there. Listen, we wrap up on the 24th of February. After that, we're going to go. Right, yeah. This time, you got to remind me. I'm when you're done, to- you said you owe me Chinese. Now. Remember, I'm reminding everybody, I'm going to remind Sabino. <laughs> you had a funny joke for us, I think. Okay, you put me on the spot on that one. Yeah, I mean, okay. So, I mean, you uh, had us laughing before we started. I was like, "Hold on, right, you gotta say that again." What did I start with? Tell me, tell me. Give oh, because you. All right, so you were saying you don't know where your family's from in Italy. Okay. That makes a joke. Now, yes, so we're gonna figure it out. I think the next time we have you on, we'll have an ancestry test waiting okay. for you. This that is way we right. do it. I know what you're but saying. Now. One of your roles, you had to learn Italian. Okay, so this was actually this still is it's, it's priceless, and people want me to go on. To do this. Mm-hmm. Okay, they've asked. I got me. the exclusive on this one you too. You also got the exclusive. So I had to do a commercial, and the lines were um, I go up the block, I get into a car, and it says, uh, I got to take care of We got to take care of this thing. And then it's, uh, I'm starting to get hungry. And well, and he says, Me too, and uh, we'll eat later. But we're doing something in an elevator. So the lines were, you know, I take care. So it's, Ambiamo, Antonuto, Nunocose. And then it's, I'm starting to get, 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 I'm starting and my father, my mother, what is this? And I'm going to go, but what is Then I would go like this, they go, oh. You sound bares. Okay, you ready for this? Now I take <laughs> yeah. the same words. Shimani, shimana. Now they would say, wow, he, this guy knows Italian. I go, no, you just don't know Italian. Because I didn't say nothing other than, I said words. But then I would change it up and I go, but the only words I do know is I would say the same thing. I go, Ambiamo Antonuto una cosa. Yes. Sto defostando fame. Ecco, chi stai ambiamo? Mamma, tutto. Mio sorella, mio fratello, mio madre, mio padre, chi stai con il rispetto del padre? Ma mamma, va stunata! <laughs> and it's the same words I just repeated in different ways. Yeah. But you do the ambiamo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uno that, my that's head is more, pounding. That's more real, realistic, though. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to calculate what you said. It's like it now, hurts my brain. In the club, one time, all timers never named names, right? But the old timers, I didn't know back in the day what I spent them, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I meant? Back that, back in the day. Mm-hmm. So I would go. So I'm talking to the old man. The old man's talking. I go, I spent, I spent. <laughs> and he goes like this. 
That's so fucked I go, up. I go, I spent it, I spent it. He goes, you said it without no... <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Now you want to laugh? I go, I spent it. He goes, I go, what the fuck are you talking? I put a I crack your head open. I go, what? <laughs> he goes, you know nothing about it. I'll kill you. I go, I'm just saying I spent it. He goes, what does I spent mean? I go, I don't know. I just wanted to say a word. <laughs> That's why I said it. Yeah, get that. I spent could be like, it's so good for a lot of I spent... <laughs> And the greatest, grazie, right? What do you do? Grazie, 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 grazie. Yeah, grazie. You know, it's how you, you, you do it. You don't even got to know much. You got to say, mm. <laughs> All right, this, this is a perfect, this is a perfect segue into the next, to the next right. thing. the next thing. How do you blend in to being Italian? Love like, it. Like, blend. Who can blend? blend? Remember my cousin Vinny? I live somewhere in cowboy boots. Yeah, you blend. Wait, hold on. Let, I have a funny one. Let yeah. me and Sabino talk, but you're also in the conversation. Okay. But we'll speak Italian. Yes, though. gotcha. Oh, what's up, B? How are you? Tutto a posto, tu. Tutto buono. Oh, che chi si ha tu, eh? Ma chi sei italiano? Tu sei italiano. Tu padre. Tu padre pensa a te. <laughs> he got me. I could think that he's like has some crazy dialect. <laughs> and then you do this, you go, mancha, mancha, go, go, go. <laughs> See, that's the way it ends. Man, you fat bastard. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. One clip, sound effect too. one clip that went crazy. That oh, wait, 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 I gotta get my job. Okay. So this is, let me give you great. This is what I'm talking about, energy and vibe. So I met the three of you. I met, yes, I know I met your ja baby Johns. We love baby John. Love him to death. But you realize this is vibe. Mm -hmm. This is energy and this is la, fa la familia. Abbiamo una cosa. Ti amo. Ti amo la familia. Ti voglio bene. Ti, ti voglio bene. Mangia, mangia, mangia. Go ahead. <laughs> Bro, if I was in a room with you and I didn't know who you were beforehand, I'd, you'd drive me crazy. <laughs> Isn't that great? You go, this guy doesn't speak a word of that. What is he saying? I can't wait till Rocco's trying to make clips out of this for you. <laughs> and He's going to have a feel that you can have a feel oh, that. Oh, this is going to be great. You I guys, can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. So, <laughs> so this is a perfect segue okay. into something I wanted to bring up. I don't know if you were the first person to post it, but there's a, a clip with the Gravesend cast. That was us. And it was the Goodfellas thing, like, you know, that they, you know, that trend yeah, did? Yeah. And, and you see Big Stabil. Time Tommy. Yeah. And you see some some guy with the craziest quaff. Like, Jimmy look, V. Yeah. It looks like that Jimmy. thing could withstand, like, a Jimmy tropical is, storm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. With, yeah. The, with the wife beater. And uh, yeah. that put oh, you together. Got, so now, of course, in this industry, we see this kind of, these kind of videos all day. Okay. A lot of the comments were, none of these guys are Italian. <laughs> what do you feel about people that say you're not Italian or people like they're Italian-American well, aren't Italian? There, it's like anything else. I do not let, especially in this business or anything, let's just say, let's not just say the business, let's say anything. I'm not going to let haters affect me. I'm go those, that's a hate mode. So it's like saying, oh, he's bald, he's, he's not Italian, you don't have the hair like this. Okay, what, what am I going to say? You could say what you want. I don't, I don't even respond to it because it's not worth my day. Because when you have so much hate, you have people that are on these social medias that are there just to hate, right? Mm -hmm. But you're hating on something that is done out of good humor. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to tell you. I'm not trying to dictate to you something. We're taking something that's a thing going around and we're having fun with it. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to be as on point as possible, which that video did mm -hmm. go viral. So it hit almost, you know, five and a half million times. So and a bunch of people posted it too. It was. It, was, it wasn't just five million. No, it was. There was more views. There than was a hundred and eighty thousand or hundred fifty thousand uh, shares. Yeah, it went nuts. Two hundred thousand likes, comments without the glow. And I try to get around, believe it or not, to the comments to respond to at least show that I'm showing love. Mm -hmm. I try, but on that one, it was so hard. So many. So many. And I was trying. You got to hire an assistant for that one. And you and try you know and do every single one? I try. Uh. I sometimes will get a little anxiety with it when people hit me up. That's why, only reason why sometimes I don't post as much. Because sometimes I get three, four hundred messages. Mm -hmm. And I don't want anyone to think that I am not sh showing up. I just see a list like this and I'm scrolling. I go. You get anxiety, right? Because then I don't want to f make anyone think that I'm... I don't want anyone to think that I'm not showing I'm up I'm the back. same way. I got a response to all of them or none. 
That's me. So you could just comment saying thank you to all the kind messages. Yes, yeah. but I, I think it's a little bit more personal when you hit somebody. You're trying to get a fan, huh? No, <laughs> no. Just to show yeah, a, yeah, a heart yeah. back. I send sometimes 100, the, the number 100. Yeah. I hit it four or five times in a row. Show it that I I feel better that I responded. Right. Because when, when people have responded to me in the past, mm-hmm. and I'm fans like um, Ice T. I'm a fan of Ice from when I'm a kid. When I met Ice in the in in a party, and just I walked over to him and I started singing the Tower. The Tower is one of my favorite songs, and that's a lot of people don't know that song. And that's about your first day going into the pen, and that song starts off. I'm rolling up in a big way bus and I'm shackled down myself. That's who I trust. The minute I arrive, some sucker got hit. Shank 10 times behind some bullshit. Those words are so strong. So when I met Ice, I go, I'm not going to waste this opportunity. The first time I ever met him was not too long ago. Walk, talk to him for a little bit. And I don't just say to say, remember, no kiss ass here. Mm-hmm. He's a gentleman. So he was a gentleman. And then all of a sudden, he's got, I don't know how many people he follows. He follows me now. And that's something that goes with the way you are. And it's not just about a follow, so don't misinterpret. Life is not built around a follower. But it means something when somebody goes out of their way. So when I want to do it, I feel better. Right. I feel better when I can get his, around to as much. That's why sometimes with Gravesend, we didn't have a true release date yet. So I dropped the trailer. But it's hard to just keep posing because I don't want to leave anybody out to say, yeah. when is it coming? And I truly don't know the date. Because right, right, right. right. once I know the date, oh no, you'll yeah, see blast me post everywhere. everywhere. I'll tell you one thing though, that video that we were just talking about was the best trailer even before. It's amazing. Because the, the, the other trailer you guys just put out was amazing. Amazing. But that was like something where everybody was talking like, we need to watch this show. Do you think Gravesend is the best Italian-American show right now? Well, Italian American show, when I go back, I look at this guy right yeah. here. So I'm a humongous fan of Sopranos. There is nothing to talk about. Um, when you come to now, here is my left right combination. You are going to get so much with this because you're going to go back into a date in the late 80s. Late 80s is when there was the law and order, there was the street codes, there was the, you don't. Talk to that person when you know you're not supposed to. You stay here. This show gives you that. And with the cast that we'll put together, I mean, everything is a remains to be seen as we always know that answer. My film that I'm doing remains to be seen because I know how good it's going to be. But once it shoots out and once we all see it, yeah. so sky's the limit. Sky's limit so the, the sky's first, the limit. I'm, I'm going to be honest, and I think I've said it on other episodes, the first season, I felt like it was a little rushed. Maybe wasn't the best show in the world, right? And but I still enjoyed it because I love seeing that nostalgia, old cars, and yes. seeing actors that I recognize and a bunch of people I know on the show. And now I will say, just from that trailer and everybody I've seen that's going to be on the show, I could tell it's an incredible yes. jump. And shows sometimes take that because it's not an HBO show. No, it's not a show that it's is all the exactly. He did it. He did this, when you think about it, I'm No Curfew Productions is my production company. To do the film that I'm doing now, Judge No Book, I know what it takes to do a one film, hour and 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. To do nine now, nine episodes at 45, 50 minutes. To travel, to cast, to... That's got all, it's crazy. Oh, my God. How, much money, how much money do you need to do a, a legit hour and 40 minute movie? Uh, well, it, the okay. right way, the I'm right gonna, way. I'm going to tell you. So, I don't care what any. I know it all depends on. Ready for this? This is the answer. Who is in your film that ranks to the point of rate? You, the three of us, do it right. We watch. We're going to do a scale, low budget, low budget uh, SAG show right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, the daily rate is two hundred and sixteen dollars for each one of us. So, what do we got invested? We got the location, we got our cameras, we got, okay. We bring Mark Wahlberg in it. It is now $5,216. <laughs> Nothing changed here. Yeah. You bring now Ed Leonardo DiCaprio, we're at $22,516,516. That's your answer. As long as you have the right cameras, the right crew, your 
your director, that they everybody knows and they work well together because it could be mutiny as soon as something goes wrong. And things always go wrong. Yeah. But you see, like, we have a great energy amongst the team that I have. My team and Gravesend, I will promote. Gravesend is a family. So every time I could speak for me, when I went to that set and you ask, ask on your own. Don't even have to, I know the answer. Ask on your own about Gaetano. Gaetano they, is They Gaetano. called you Gaetano? That's even? it. Nobody even knew my name. No? That's it. Just know me as Gaetano. Would you ever think about changing your name to that? I love the name Gaetano. <laughs> Do you know when Will fire, first right? said it? When he first said the name, I actually went, all right, Gaetano, Gaetano. Is it Gaetano, Gaetano, Gaetano? I'm like, no, I like Gaetano, Gaetano. Now, that name is stuck, and I love it. Yeah. And I love that he made it Gaetano. It's got to be a special feeling when you play somebody, you become that character. Like All the Sopranos guys, how many people don't know their real names? Or they'll Absolutely. say, Big right. Pussy. Paulie yeah. Holmes. Bobby Bacala. Right. R.I.P. That's right. right. And Gaetano <laughs> is Gaetano. My wife, when I'm filming, I go, oh, God. what's my name, baby? I think you're going to say go, something else. I go, you get to have two tonight. <laughs> yeah, you have, well, yeah, you, you get to have it. baby. And Gaetano. And yeah? Like oh, oh, you yeah. get it down like that? I get, listen, she's Wh- going to have... Which one's listen. the better version? Gaetano's yeah. entering. I go... One's a lover, one's a fighter? I go, I just, I go, I am Gaetano. Dance with me. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's a trooper. I always say it. She is... I sit there and say two things. I have the best wife a man could ask for. And I have the best friends a man could ask for. And friends are my also family because they are my, my brothers, but they don't have to be blood related to be my brother, right? But I have to, I always say it like in It's a Wonderful Life, no man is a failure who has friends. That last thing, when you read it, that could get me to cry on this show right now because that means so much to me. And, and even with my friends who have helped me throughout, I have men, they were all at my house yesterday celebrating one of my dearest friend's birthdays. And um, I can remember times just him putting his arm around me going, you know it's going to be all right, I got you. Strong I got you. See, I'm going to tear. Because nobody understands that unless you go through it. You, you don't realize it. And when you get dark and you get lonely and you're isolated and things go bad, you see who's really there. Yeah. I have the best friends... A man could ask for in this life. I'm bl- I'm as blessed as could be. You know, a way that I could tell who's a... There's two ways for me how you could tell who's your real friends. One, if we walk outside right now, I get punched in the face. <laughs> Are you going to punch that guy that punched me? And <laughs> two, <laughs> if I'm driving at 2 o'clock in the morning and I pop a tire and I call you like, I need help. Absolutely. That, to me, that's, that's like two ways to really tell. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And it's not even necessarily that it has to happen, but you know deep down like... If shit yeah. goes down, these are who got me. Yeah. And to me, you know, all these people that we talk to every day, but it's really only three or four in yes. my phone that I really know. And look, even there. today, I had my godson over yesterday, and um, his mom was taking candid pictures, like not even realizing, and he's just laying with me. And he's seven, and this is one of my dearest friends, his son, and he asked me to be the godfather that... That again, that sacred way, and that's why and he's a guy, my friend, I know 30-something years, and we, you know, when, when you take real friendships, and you also go through the trenches, let's not leave that out, mm-hmm. you know when push came to shove, everybody did their time, so there is no, oh, uh, you know, this person decided to choose a different way because they have a family, I had a family, he's got a family, this guy's got a family. Everybody just took it on the chin because that's, you want to play the game, you pay, you pay. Remember Beretta, don't go to bed with no price in your head and don't do the crime unless you can't do the time. Um, yep. That's the truth. So there is no, but so when you growing up and you have real friendships and those aren't just, I have, I have been so blessed with that because not just the dearest friends that came over yesterday, I have dear friends that I may not see in a year or two or six months. They live different spots. It doesn't matter. They are the guy. Punch me in the face. Oh, you better be careful what they're going to do. Yeah. And then call them in the middle of the night. They've already got you covered already. And it, it, it's there's a lot that goes with it. And there's no age. I have friends that are older, friends that are younger, friends that are my age. And you just know where they are. Heart 
And like Scarface, right? In the eyes, chico. The they eyes never lie. lie. They never, they never lie. lie. Tell you. No kiss, okay? I, I, I got to be honest. I'm, I'm pretty shocked that you're so into hip-hop, though, being the guy that plays like a character like Gaetano. But I love all music. So, okay, so you love all music oh. equally, or is hip-hop superior to... No. I could... You, I'll put... Go ahead. What's your playlist country. like? My playlist will go like this. Kenny Chesney. Uh, Toby I don't Keith. even know who he is, but okay. one of my friends... Named their dog after him and told me he's a country singer. Oh, he's cool. I, we can't make this Ready? up. Toby Keith. Then you'll go to DMX. Then you go to Frank Sinatra. Then you go to Yolanda Adams. Then you go to Kirk uh, Kirk Franklin. Then you'll go back to Pac. I'm a big Tupac. Big, <laughs> big Pac. All right. Chris. Put tips on my hips as I tip. Gotta get a tight grip. Chris, who's your top five rappers of all time? Number one, Tupac Shakur. Ooh, over Biggie. You're a Brooklyn guy. Uh, just giving it like it is. I like the... Why I like Tupac better than Biggie? Tell this you is why. treason, though. Tell you why. You know, right? I'm gonna tell you why. Tupac's flow to me is more on the, like I was just singing. It goes to Iggy. I go like this to Iggy. That's how I break them down. But when you put the first one first, I put the two. Mm -hmm. So I go to Iggy, to Biggie, to Biggie. But I can't use Biggie because then it's too much on. You just said too much of his name. So I go to Iggy. Because they're so equally matched, but I put the two first, so that means I have to say Pac. When you have Pac songs, Pac songs are my kind of soul songs, like Holla If You Hear Me. It's, here we go, turn it up, let's stop, for blocks to blocks. It's just a faster mode. Um, uh, when We Ride, um, My Adversaries Crumble, When We Rumble, It's a Catastrophe. So it's boom, boom, boom. Then you go, it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. It's a little different flow. That's definitely my little flavor. Okay. I like uh, that. That's better. the flow. Then you give me. So, so Tupac's me, first. Tupac, two, go, two Tiggy, Iggy. Tiggy. Let's just go two Iggy. Okay. Two Iggy. Okay. Then it goes, ready? To From Nas. Okay. To, Respectable. Oh my God, I love Nas. Give me Nas. But over, you're picking Nas over Jay Z, though. Then I watch. It goes I have Nas, to at least say that. Watch. Nazi. <laughs> See? <laughs> so it goes Nazi. Ziggy Nazi. You know you don't get extra votes. Like, I just know. You it's do that, it's right? so hard. Just because you make it cute. Then, you're not gonna... I'm huge 50. So, you know, it, it's 50. The, the My my number one 50, and, and not because I worked with him for two years. And 50 is first time ever working with 50 on, on the show for life. I spoke about this. We have a turnaround. So time. you're putting 50 number five. Putting fifty number three because I have the wait I'm, but two two. Watch. You just said four though. Two Iggy, Nazi. Those I put them as the, the top twos. They talk. so you say you're giving us your top seven by the way. But okay, no, so I'm going fifty. So three is fifty. That is so hard. Wait, how is three fifty? I'm confused. You <laughs> said five guys, right? Yeah, because I put two Iggy is one. Oh, uh, you counting them as one? Nazi is two. Okay, not Nas Jay Z. Gotcha, gotcha. Nazi. So I go. That's two. Fifty. Then I go fifty. Three. Then you're then I'm getting into um, hard because I'm an Eminem. I was gonna say Dre. Eminem is there. Oh my there. god! So what's their nicknames? Oh, god, I don't even know. I'm just gonna watch, watch. And I M and go, Oh my god! I don't know who would put in front. So I go. You don't seem like a Drake guy, though. I will say, you do not seem like Dr a Drake guy. Drake, you like all the hard. For this? You know, no, he said Drake. Drake. Not Drake. Oh, that's no, why. No, Dre, okay. Drake. Dr. Drake. I go when it comes so it makes to sense Dre now. in in. Um, I need a doctor. Great song. It literally love feels that like a lifetime ago. Oh my God. When that, I actually will work out in. Mind you, I don't the fact you can recite lyrics, I can't even recite my name. Oh. And then Nas Nasty. Nas Nasty, the last verse, when it goes, ready? For the hustlers, thick as yellow bitches, yeah. for the suck of it. Got a brother's bitches and bitches. They was, uh, I don't want to, I, I revert the, I try to do brother. So he goes, wait a minute, he goes, because it's my favorite all time verse. And he goes, for the suck of it. He goes, think it's yellow bitches for the suck of it. Got a bunch of brothers in prison saying not, it was not as he used to hustle with. I just played fashion while my loaded gaze has his guns and my waist passes. Since I pick it up, put funds on my safe laugh and enjoy the blunt bet. You brothers are straight ass and excuse the vulgarity. I'm still not fully adjusted or used to the new fans hearing me spit rapidly. I never see the whips brothers be claiming they're driving. 
I guess entertainment means blatantly lying. Chris, do you I, smoke weed? I don't smoke weed. <laughs> I got. But you, I feel like he's lying right now. No, I would never lie. No, no, no lie. I told you, there's no lying me. Okay, <laughs> Sabrina, I don't lie. Weed and rap Even music go hand in hand. <laughs> What's that? Weed and rap music go hand in hand. I don't. And it's funny because people would say your energy is so high, you're doing a little small. They would think I'm doing that, and I go, No, I don't do that either. I go, Might have, but I never did. I don't know. <laughs> but I go for the left. I always go. I tell you, I don't lie, okay? No weed. No so I, I think technically you still have a number five. Are you giving that to DMX or you just DMX out will always be shouted out. DMX because he's, you know, it's, um, the X always goes up. So the X is what I was going to say when I give the five. The X goes up. He might be the Italian American DMX. Oh. All right. Wait, and give us another in the mic. <laughs> DMX. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Wait, the one when it's, um, a small, oh, wait, 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 give me one second. Ah, ah, ah. Goes, the Chihuahua? Oh, I'm just drawing a blank. I hate it. Um, when he goes, uh. Chris, if you were to give this episode a title, what would you give it? Say that again? If you were to give this episode a title, if you were, if your name was Rocco and you had to be the guy that picks a title for this episode, what would it be? Oof. Picking a title. Let's pick the title. Chris Boy. I wait. feel like there has to be a Chihuahua in the artwork. Chris, mm-hmm. you got, a little Chihuahua. You got Sabino rocking it with the Chihuahua and Chris Boy the Momando. Nice. <laughs> we got Rocco in the house. We got pop, pop, pop. It's and a long we title. It. We got Pac like this. Fingertips on the hips as I tip. Gotta get a tight grip. Don't slip, loose, slip, sink, ship. Yeah. It's a trip. <laughs> I do not joke around, but my daughters could rap. My yeah. both daughters, since they're babies. My daughter, Nikki, she's 26 now. She could give you... Sometimes when she cracks me up, because she'll go, Dad, you know you were wrong with that word, right? And I go, what word? She goes, Dad, you just sang out Pac. You insulted him by changing a word. I go, Nikki, I'm your my firstborn. I'm your father. I didn't say it. She goes, all right. And you know what? With the joke with the new, uh, let's throw the red flag. Oh, yeah. That's how she goes. Let's throw the flag. And we'll uh, see. Yeah, right. challenge it. Yeah, and I go. Ah, you Does can your win. daughter make music too, or she? Just, no, my she daughter, doesn't... my oldest daughter, is a speech pathologist. That's kind of like making music. That's making music. <laughs> and teaches the kids, and I love it. And my young, youngest daughter is um, becoming a nurse, um, so she goes to St. Francis, and couldn't be more proud. I mean, St. Francis took, College. Yeah. And which one? Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, where, that's where we went. And yeah. Well, daughter, he, gra- my, he actually graduated. My daughter, graduated. Nikki, graduated St. Joseph's in Brooklyn and okay. uh, went to L- uh, Long Island University yeah, for yeah. graduate LIU, school. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, very yeah, proud. To have two doors that graduated, that's, and that's a win. And they took my hair. They took your hair? Mm-hmm. Charlie. Don't blame them. Don't they blame took them. my thumb. That's not fair. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, nah. That's not fair. You can't, you can't do that. Nah, nah, they're my angels. Besides the movie that you're about to wrap up on, is there anything else that we should be looking out for? Well... The Gravesend is definitely to be looking out for. Um, that's going to be phenomenal. I mean, it's just going to show you so much of the 80s and how it ran. Mm-hmm. And yes, you got to give him a shout out, Willie, because... Shouts to Willie. To shout him. Shout Willie's got to come up. Oh, definitely. I think it's time. It's Absolutely. Time. He's just... You know what it is? You don't have five minutes to get to anything. Like today. Today I was with some of the cast, Gino today, going through rehearsals. Then you go to location scouts. You finish that up here tonight, right? I'll go home, do production, and then I go in silent. Silent until the 6th. Yeah. Because 6th, we're on schedule. And we're going to be, our first two days, we're going to be Lucali's Pizza. Nice. Yeah, Henry Street, Cousin Mark. We're going to film here. Then we're filming in the food boss's place. We're going to be in Ariana's. Ariana's. Yeah, yeah nice. we're going to be there three days, uh, the, fa- the second week. Um, and then, again, my dearest friends, I've given up so many... Places Lombardi's Pizza. That's my dearest friend John. Johnny Hollywood. Oh, that's my that's guy. My dearest. We we filmed with him too. I love him. And he was I was with him Saturday. He's night. one of the best pizzas around. It's when you look at pizzas, you go okay, and then you go wow, and then you go to Cousin Mark's and you go wow. It's it's unreal because you sit there and go, they're two different places. It's pizza and then as well. Wow. That's right. The wows. You guys filmed the LMB too, huh? That's Gravesend. We filmed an LMB. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, I, yeah, I, yeah separate, that's yeah. Gravesend. Um, Lombardi's and Lucali's is where we're filming Judge No Book. Gotcha. So, and give you a funny one with, with uh, Lombardi's. Lombardi's is doing their first overnight pizza for the first time. 
So you're going to get an overnight. Oh, more fermented. Frozen, more fermented. And you're going to have an open box, how to do it, what, how to do it. So if you're going to see yours truly's face. Yeah, it's amazing. Giving you, it's going to be unbelievable. I'm going to be doing a couple of the commercials for them. Um, it's going to be very, very good. That Anywhere in the United States, you get an overnight pizza. It's amazing. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say? Nah, it, was, it was great to have you on. I learned a lot about you. Like Sabino said, you know, we didn't know too much, but obviously I had a good idea. And this was great. It, it was really a pleasure me and you and having it you on. It was a pleasure. And there was one more thing. When you did a podcast with Nico, a Fangul clip came out. A Fangul. Out. What happened with that? Okay. So I, I kind of want to get that uh, lightning okay. in a bottle. So when we do, it's it, when, when you're doing the Italian series, I'll, if you have ever watched A Bronx Tale, which we all did, mm -hmm. go watch, um, Be, well, his name is Nicky Beans, Beansy. He goes, A Fangul, when they go, okay, you guys can go. Okay. Oh, when he, did they get, they He says, him. A Fangul. Yeah. Do you know any people have hated and said just kind of so nobody's talking about? Okay, maybe you're right. Maybe I said it the wrong or whatever. But that's our word. And you go, ah, fungo, buffungo, get yeah, out of here. Fungo. Take a walk. Or it's the same thing as take a walk. Get the fuck out of here. Mm. So when we do it, when I, people tell me I couldn't do acting, or they said you'll never, I go, ah, fungo. When you tell me I can't do something, I go, ah, fungo. Do it more. Yeah, you're going to do it. And I thank you. I'll thank my haters. Never recognize them by name. They know who they are. Mm -hmm. They all know. Mm -hmm. But they don't understand that they help. Yeah. They help. Listen, before we say goodbye, you're going to see this guy in the pot again. Amen. And we're going to have an ancestry test waiting for you. Oh, <laughs> because man, I man. think it will be fun. <laughs> yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Watch for the cars.